What's up guys, how are you all doing? Hey, today's video we're gonna be checking out how to make your very own motion sensing camera. We're gonna be mounting it up on a servo, mount some motion sensors, and making it where it'll turn and face whatever motion it sees and take a picture. If that sounds like something interesting to you, then stay tuned. It's coming up right here, right now, on M.I. Sperry. Okay guys, so for this project, we'll need a case, <clears throat> just use the simple case from Radio Shack. We'll need some PIR sensors, we'll need one of these cameras, and one of these cameras, this was actually donated to me by uh, ELP uh, <clears throat> CCTV. They were gracious enough to donate that to me so that they so I could review it and show you guys what it will do. So thanks to ELP uh, CCV TV so for sending that to me. Also got a Raspberry Pi Zero just for space, make it smaller. Um, could have done a Raspberry Pi and just put it inside. Either way, wanted to show it with the Raspberry Pi Zero. Anyway, there's also inside there is the um, LiPo Writer from Seed Studio, which is a lithium uh, polymer battery uh, charger controller. It also does solar, because I may add solar to this where you can put it outside in a later video. But anyway, this is basically what it is. Got some 3D printed parts. We got a 3D printed bracket, 3D printed uh, case to hold it all, and then install these in. So let's go ahead and look at how we can put this together and build it. Okay guys, so the first thing we need to do is we need to desolder the connector that comes with these PIR sensors. So we'll do that. Then we'll go ahead and we'll solder some lengths of wire into this so that way we can uh, connect it up to our Raspberry Pi. So we'll go ahead and now I've got all three wires in there. We'll go ahead and get some solder tinned onto our soldering iron and go ahead and solder them in place. Then we'll take a pair of uh, cutters and we'll trim off the excess. Now we'll go ahead and look at modeling up the uh, base device as well as the camera mount. There's the camera mount. We'll model that up as well and get this all 3D printed out. Here is a full kind of mock-up of everything with the PIR sensors and everything, just checking for uh, constraints and whatnot. We'll 3D print that out and we'll be back to put it together. Now we've got it all 3D printed. Here's the base. We'll be checking that out. We're gonna go ahead and put the PIR sensors in and we'll throw some hot glue on that to uh, make sure that they stay in place. Now once we've got all three of them put in place, it's time to put the servo motor in. So we'll go ahead and feed them through that little slot that we had, and slide that on down into place and we'll secure it with some screws. Now we'll go ahead and place on, I went ahead and put the camera on as well as the servo uh, cross piece, mounted that all to our bracket. So we should be good to go. Now we're gonna go ahead and wire this thing up. Here's a quick diagram of how I wired it up to the Raspberry Pi Zero. So now we'll go ahead and put this together. So first thing we need, I got our case, cut a notch out of the side. It's actually from an old project that we uh, did, but uh, cut a notch out of the side, it's gonna work perfectly. We're gonna take one of these USB-A to micro USB converters, put it on, as well as connect our battery to our LiPo rider. I also soldered a wire onto the five volt side, so that way we can plug in our servo. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the uh, power cable and we'll go ahead and put this all into the box. Make sure the cables go out through the notch. We'll go ahead and add the camera cable to it. Again, making sure that they stick out through the notch. We'll go ahead and put the lid on and then we'll set this up top. We'll go ahead and plug everything in, all the different connections we need, shortening up wires as we need it. Then finally, we need to secure it. So good old duct tape. We're gonna double over some duct tape, stick it on the bottom of our uh, little base and stick it down to the top. And we might as well fold some over and throw it on the Raspberry Pi as well. Just make sure everything's secure. Okay, now we'll move on to the coding section. First thing we need to do is install FS Webcam. This is what's gonna be taking our pictures for us. Once you get it installed to test it out, you can just do an FS Webcam image.jpg and you should see that the file gets created in the directory you're in. Now, once we've got that installed, we can go ahead and check out the C source code that I made using the Wiring Pi library. This basically just pulls the different uh, PIR sensors and then adjusts the servo accordingly and takes the picture. Once we get that done, we can just compile it using the following command. Once it's compiled, we can then execute it with the sudo.slash 
execution method, and it should take off running. All right, so here we are. We're gonna go ahead and have it put together. Here's a quick shot of it all assembled. We'll then take a look at how it works. So here we are working. It's going back and forth and it's following me around. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this build. This was actually a lot of fun to uh, put together, um, and my kids have had actually a lot of fun with it. They've uh, been running around it and taking pictures. I got some really good pictures of them uh, that I put uh, in a scrapbook. It was pretty funny. So um, anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and a big thanks to ELP CCTV for donating the camera. Uh, you can buy all this stuff, um, pretty much all of it, on Amazon and IC Station. Left some links down below for all the products the builds and all the pieces and everything if you want to check that out check the links down below and don't forget to like subscribe and share and make sure that you check out uh, the links down below for the different t-shirts and all kinds of other swag if you want to support the channel it'd be great as well as um, check out my tindy store and see if you can't uh, see a couple things there that you like all proceeds go back to, into the channel and come back to you in these videos so hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.